All right, Bob Matthews with Power1K.com. Just a couple quick questions. Um, here It's Tuesday the 28th. First question is, um, I had a customer write us on info at Power1K.com talking about trying to get to the right amount of protein, which is what I discussed yesterday. And uh, his question was, if, if six ounces of chicken breast is 40 grams of protein, are there other ways for him to get to 125 grams a day? And of course, there's, you know, chicken and fish are probably your best. You can get uh, out of a can of tuning at 35 grams right there. And then um, protein drinks. You know, I'm a big fan of getting the protein drinks in because I don't know how you can do this without it. Um, for myself, I weigh 250. So I need, you know, if I went to the one by one rule, one gram of protein per one gram of, I mean, pound of body weight, I would need 250 grams of protein. And if I was just going to do that through chicken breast, I would be eating all day long. I couldn't do it. So I have to do it through protein drinks. So that's my recommendation there. Chicken, fish, tuna, and protein drinks. Okay. And the second question, let me just get right down to it here, is uh, I want a good full body circuit class or training, I guess. How many reps and sets do you do? Is it best to circuit train or just two, or just two body parts four times a week? There are two different approaches. You know, circuit training is going to break up the monotony if you just got the, if you're kind of like in the humdrum part. Um, circuit training is more for conditioning, probably. I personally do the two body parts four times a week. I, I like more the body shaping aspect of it. I think what happens for me is I get a metabolic burst for a lot longer period of time because when you do strength training, like using weights, it can your, your metabolism could be fired up for as, as long as 24 hours, depending how intense your workout was. With cardio or maybe circuit classes, you might get a great pump in more body parts, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go with you for the rest of the day. Many times, 45 minutes to one hour after you've finished your exercise, you're pretty much done. So, you know, Really, I do circuit training sometimes. I get to the gym. I'm just not in the mood to focus on just my two body parts. So, I But I stay within the body part itself. So maybe I do more of a, a superset would be a better way to put it for you. Uh, I don't normally do a shoulder and then a chest and a leg and then a back. That's just not my deal. Now, some people love that. If that gets you to the gym and gets you off the couch, then do circuit training. You know, it's similar to a boot camp at that point, just with weights instead of doing push-ups and sit-ups and burpees and so forth. But um, I hope that helps. Um, you know, just to summarize, I think protein drinks are very important. I think they help you get to your number, and they're pre-digested, so they're a little bit easier on your system. And I'm a two-body part, four-time-a-week guy, So, and I've been that way. You know, I'm 51. I'm pretty set in my ways in that one. And 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 when I coach people, I coach them the two-body part four times a week and shape their bodies every single time, both male and female. But do I discourage circuit training? Absolutely not. So anyway, I hope that helps. Have a great day, and uh, keep me posted.